50 is removed from this plant but it is not added back to the receiving plant. So that stock will be displayed under a different stock type called stock transfer to plant and it will show against the receiving plant, that is plant 1. Once the stock Once the stock is physically received in this receiving plant, we are going to do step two, which is place in storage against that material document number. Specify the quantity, and now you want to specify the storage location in which you want to receive that stock. Item OK, click on check, and post it. Now, when you look at the stock, the stock will be immediately and properly updated. Right, so this is more the appropriate stock transfer method in two steps for stock transfer between plants. Now, let's say instead of receiving in the second plant, second story location, it was actually supposed to be received in the third story location. So, that is what stock transfer between stock uh, within plant is all about that is, taking storage locations of the same plant. Even here you have one step process and two step process. Let me show you both. So you go to the Migo screen, MIGO, select transfer posting. For one step process, select transfer posting, other moment type is 311. Enter the material number and from store location to store location and the quantity. Click on check, post it. And the stock will be immediately updated. Okay. Now the two-step process is similar to the two-step process between plants. So first step one, remove from storage. Moment type will be 313. So here, again, enter the material number plant, from storage location to storage location, quantity, check, and then post it. Now when you look at the stock overview, 50 will be removed from this storage location, but it will not be shown in this storage location because it is not yet received here. It will be shown under a different stock type called transfer to storage location against that storage location. Right, when it reaches, physically reaches the receiving storage location, they will do the place in storage against the document number. Moment type will be automatically taken as 315. Specify the quantity, item OK, check, no errors, posted. Now when you look at the stock overview, it will show me the stock received in the receiving storage location. So this way, you can carry out stock transfers between plants and within plants in two different ways. Okay. Now the stock transfer between stock types are between the three basic stock types under restricted quality and block the stock. The way to transfer is the same except the moment type is going to change. Okay. So let's first receive some stock into the quality inspection stock or Let's move the unrestricted stock, some of the unrestricted stock to the quality inspection stock. Okay. So we already have quality inspection stock, so we're going to move 25 from here to this storage location. You can move it to a different storage location or to the same storage location. Again, we go to Migo, select transfer posting, other moment I would be 321 to move the stock to from quality to unrestricted. Enter the material number, the plant where you are moving it, from store location to store location, and the quantity. Now, whenever you are moving the stock from quality to any other stock type or from unrestricted to quality, usually vendor number has to be maintained. For your practice, you can enter any vendor number. If you don't remember the vendor number, press F4 and search for the vendor for that plant. And here you can enter any vendor. For 
fact is anything will do in the real time the end users are going to enter the relevant vendor number click on check no errors posted okay. now when you look at the start status it will be immediately updated that is the screen will be similar to stock transfer within plant in one step process okay so like this, each of these transactions can be carried out, just changing the movement type and the type of stock to be moved. Okay. Now the transactions that we did so far were to ensure that you have sufficient stock to be issued for various consumption requirements, for various business requirements, or for various consumption requirements. So in order to use the stock for carrying out any business activity stock has to be first issued to that relevant element in the sap system so stock can be issued for any purpose you can issue it to a customer you can issue it to a production you can issue to uh, you know, sales order again sales order you can issue to project you can issue to an asset right so whatever is the purpose of the stock consumption the relevant element has to be created and the stock issued for that element so let's see how to do goods issue to cost center cost centers have to be created within a controlling area since we already have a controlling area let's complete the configuration for creating the cost center so let's go to the img screen we we'll go to spro img controlling general controlling in the real time this configuration would have already been done for you by the fi consultants so you don't need to do that in the real time you just need to show the issue for that relevant call center so enter your controlling area code double click on it in the call center standard hierarchy enter the controlling area code click on yes on the pop-up then go to activate components again click on yes on the pop-up and in the cost centers activate components subscreen cost centers select option one which is component active click on save back go to the second step which is maintaining the number ranges so go to Enter number in this for controlling documents, execute, enter your controlling area code, click on groups maintain, click on group create, enter the text for the number range, number range for controlling documents, dg is one. And enter a range. Of at least 1000 numbers, click on save. Back now, go back, select this document type COIN, just click on this line, click on element group assign, select the number range, and save it. What we just did is to create a number range and assign it to this document type for carrying out transactions to the cost center. Third step would be to maintain versions, click on execute. The first step would be to go to main menu and ensure that set controlling area, specify your controlling area, select the first row which is version 0, double click on this option controlling area settings, again select the first row, double click on settings for each fiscal year, ensure only the copying column is checked, save it, don't make any other changes just activated the versions like i said all this work will be done in the real time by the fsa consultants you don't have to do it once you're done with the configuration now i need to create a cost center so we go to the transaction code ks01 enter a code for your cost center you can enter any code starting with y or z enter the validity period and specify the details Enter the name, which is VG01, and then this is administration 
department for AQ01. Person responsible, you can enter any name as one head. If the cost center is a division section or project, it has to exist in the department. So there you need to enter the department name. Cost center category under which business process does this cost center exist? Select administration. Hierarchy area, when you press F4, the controlling area code should be automatically updated. Business area, the industry sector in which you are creating the cost center. So I'm going to select the standard, which is 100. Functional area, press F4, the category, the subsection uh, under your 